How much dough I gotta spend to get you naked? I'm a dog, oh yeah, so pathetic. But I beat the kitty up, don't forget it, yeah. Boosh money, make her show what she got. Okay, so this is gonna be a mock draft for the upcoming draft on Thursday. Um, please help me out, share this video. This is what I want to do. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. First overall pick, the 76ers are going to take Ben Simmons because he is, I don't want to say the best in the draft, but at this point, he's the best to take at number one. He's the best reliable one at number one, so, and they need someone like him. The Lakers, for the second pick, will take Brandon Ingram out of Duke. Um, he's like he reminds me of Kevin Durant. He's long, lengthy, and he's tall. Like he's he's very tall. He's six ten. Um, so he reminds me of a Kevin Durant physique, but I think he has a while until he gets to the Kevin Durant. But he's a great fill-in for what they need in the organization. Um, my third pick would be Jamal Murray out of Kentucky. Um, I've seen him play. He's a great shooter, a great spot-up shooter, and if the Celtics are trying to trade this pick, which they it, it's it's probably going to happen because they've made it Jaleel Okafor, the 76ers have made Jaleel Okafor, the draft pick last year, available for this pick. So if the 76ers take this, they're probably going to take Chris Dunn, but if the Celtics keep it, I'm going to say Jamal Murray. He's a great shooter. Better than Avery Bradley, which they need to get rid of. So that's why I think he's going there. Um, now for the fourth pick, the Phoenix Suns will take Marquise Chris. They need a power forward. Tyson Chandler just offered out his contract. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but they need somebody like Marquise Chris in there who can play defense, shoot, and can space the floor a little bit more. And he's actually said that he wanted to go to Phoenix, so that's why I'm putting him there. Number five, the Minnesota Timberwolves will take Chris Dunn. He's the best guard out right now after um, the top three picks. Um, and the Minnesota Timberwolves need somebody like him to fit in with Levine, Wiggins, and Cat. Ricky Rubio is done, and Chris Dunn's the new point guard for this team. Number six, the New Orleans Pelicans are going to take Dragon Bender. Um, don't know a lot about him. The only reason he's hyped is because it's poor Zingas, so... It's whatever at this point for the Pelicans. They need help, and that's who they think they can get him. So, the seventh overall pick, the Denver Nuggets, will take Jalen Brown. Like I said, just taking the best available. In my opinion, Jalen Brown fits more in New Orleans, but New Orleans is just stupid and will probably take Dragon Bender anyways. So, Jalen Brown will go to the Nuggets, which he, they also need him. But the Denver Nuggets are already balanced out, so they don't need a lot of people. They just need that one right piece help them get back in track and then start signing good free agents sacramento kings are going to take buddy healed which they're actually shopping this pick right now so if they get a trade they'll probably take it but they're going to take buddy healed because he's already nba ready and he can help the team at this time um at number nine the toronto raptors will take scalabi sierra out of kentucky um scal was a predict number one pick before the college season started then kind of went downhill a little bit and he went to drop like 20 late rounds maybe second now he's back up to the 12 to 9 range or 9 to 12 range and i can see him going well with valentunas and biombo resigns and then do mark demar de rose and a few resigns so he's a good stretch for rim protector and he's he, he can develop he really can number 10 milwaukee bucks are going to take jacob or Jacob, Jakob, don't know how to say it, don't know a lot about him, he's international, but they're going to take him. Um, number 11, the Orlando Magic are going to take Deontay Davis, because they need somebody down low other than Vucevic, and they're, they don't have it at the moment. Um, and I don't even know if he's going to resign, so they need somebody like him. 12, the Utah Jazz are going to take Henry Ellinson. I've never seen this kid play, but I've seen highlights. He's pretty good. Uh, he can shoot a little bit. Kind of good defense. And he's 6'10". So, that's a pretty good pick. Pretty good pick. Uh, number 13. The Phoenix Suns are going to take Denzel Valentine. Now, if they have Denzel Valentine coming off the bench, if they trade Brandon Knight, they can have Bledsoe, Booker, and then have 
Denzel Valentine behind Booker and then or they can even put him in the small forward slot or Devin Booker in the small forward slot and then have PJ Tucker and TJ Warren coming off the bench and then when they have Marquise Chris that's great and they have Alex Lynn and John Lord so then they have Mirza so that's a pretty good team right there in my in my book um, number 14 the Bulls are going to take let me find him real quick where is he Oh, there he is. DeJounte Murray. They need a guard because, let's face it, Derek Rose is done. He's probably going to the Knicks, and they just need a guard to fill in for him. Number 15, the Denver Nuggets are going to take frickin' Korkmaz. Don't know really much about him, but... Hang on, did I even start? Yes, yes I did. They're going to take frickin' Korkmaz. Um, he, I don't know much about him. He's from Turkey. That's all I know. <laughs> Uh, the 16 of Boston, Celtic, Boston Celtics are going to take Anti Zizik. I don't know where he is on here. Yeah, I don't know where he is on here, but they're going to take Anti Zizik. He's from Croatia. I don't know much about him, but they're going to take him. Number 17, the Memphis Grizzlies are going to take DeMontis Sabonis. Um, if you've seen him play out at college, um, he's, a, he's actually really good. Um, when he played with Kyle Wilshire, it was a great team effort, and I can see him fitting in really well for the Grizzlies. They need somebody with him and Randolph down there. Um, with number 18 pick, Detroit Pistons will take Wade Baldwin out of Vanderbilt um, I've never seen Wade Baldwin play and I can't seem to find him on this list but it will take Wade Baldwin um, he's a facilitator who can score basically uh, but other than that I don't really know much about him so there he is Wade Baldwin I don't know much about him I just know he's like 6'3 to 6'5 they have him listed as on the website but other than that, I have no idea. Number 19, the Denver Nuggets are going to take Thon Maker out of Australia. Um, this dude is ridiculous. They have him with his 7-1, but I'm pretty sure he's like 7-4. And he's like a 7-4 point guard. If you've seen highlights, he's crossing. He's like Kyrie Irving mixed with Kevin Durant. He has ball handling skills, but he's lengthy. And it's crazy, dude. Number 20, the Indiana Pacers are going to take Malachi Richardson. They need somebody next to Paul George and George Hill. And they have Miles Turner in the center. And they just need to find a power forward and we're good. So that's what I think they're going to take. 21, Atlanta Hawks are going to take Diamond Stone. Now, Diamond Stone, I've never seen him play. I know. He's very tall. So, and with Al Horford leaving, this might give him a chance to have him either start or if Al Horford resigns, coming off the bench. It's a great, great pick for them. Charlotte Hornets are going to take... Malik Beasley with the 22nd pick. Um, I don't know much about him either. He's from Florida State. He's got athleticism and he's he's a decent shooter. He he really is. So I think he's could be good with Kimball Walker if they get Harrison back up there. They can do pretty good with that. Um, the Boston Celtics in number 23 are probably gonna take Juan Hernan Gomez. I don't know a lot about him. They said I don't like, I don't watch overseas players at all. So they're just gonna take one. Hernan Gomez from Spain. Now 24. I'm hoping they don't do this. But 24, the 76ers are gonna take probably Tyler Ulis. They said they like Tyler Ulis, but I personally don't want one of my Kentucky people going to 76ers just because they have three to four more years until they get in the playoffs. Let's face it, they need to find pieces to go with Ben Simmons now. With Ben Simmons, they're basically rebuilding around him. If Ben Simmons has a good year this year, they're going to rebuild around him. Um, and then with Okafor probably leaving, that's not good. So I'm hoping they don't take him, but if he's there, they're going to take him. 25, I'm hoping the Los Angeles Clippers, if 
Tyler Eulis is still there, I'm hoping the Los Angeles Clippers can get him because of him and CP3 with like this small height, they can work together, he can mentor Tyler, and he can become a leader on a team in the future with his size and he's to his advantage. But they're going to take Ivica Zubak from Bosnia. I don't know who he is, but yeah, I don't know who he is. 26, Philadelphia 76 are going to take Patrick Megal. Um, I don't know who he is, what he does. I, I mean, he can defend and he can shoot from deep, but that's all I know. He needs time to develop. He really does. Um, other than that, I, I don't know other than that. Um, 27th pick, the Toronto Raptors are going to take Chuck, or Czech Diallo. Um, Czech Diallo, uh. He, I know he can defend, but with him and Scal, he's a better defender than Scal. Um, he really is. Other than that, I don't know much about him. I know he's a great player. He's a great team player, so I think he could fit well in the Raptors. 28 Phoenix Suns are going to take Ben Bentel. I'm hoping if Tyler Ulis drops all the way down here, they take him because him and Devin Booker teaming back up again could be a really good fit. So Ben Bentel is where I have him going. 29 San Antonio Spurs are going to take Demetrius Jackson from Notre Dame. I didn't watch Notre Dame because I hate Notre Dame, but with him and Tony Parker and Tony Parker getting older, I think this guy can really step in and mentor under Tony Parker and then learn the basics of what the Spurs are about and how they play their game and he can develop into a starter for this team in the near future. Uh, and the 30, the last pick of the first round, Golden State Warriors will take Jared Uthoff from Iowa. You can play defense, uh, but the Warriors don't really need anybody, let's face it. So they're just going to take the best available player at this point, and they're going to take Jared Uthoff. So that's the first round. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the second round, but if it's up, it's up. If not, it's not. Um, that's the first round. The draft is tomorrow, Thursday night, June 23rd. And I'm hype. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, if you guys help me out, share this video, like, and just please share it because this is what I want to do. This is, I'm so passionate about this night, funny. Um, I'm happy that I'm finally figuring out what I'm doing. So please just share this video, like it, do what you have to do. Thank you guys. Peace out.